Yeah, I'm Mel McGowan. I'm a founder, chief creative officer of Storyland Studios. So okay. we're kind of a, a, a unique organization with a, a motley crew of over 100 artists, architects, and artisans with offices around the world that get to tell stories in three dimensions. So we're, we're just having an amazing time in a in an amazing sandbox that we call planet earth so that's awesome <laughs> you know and and when people look at your work it's almost like you've got the cream of the crop and those people i don't know if they come and find you or how you get that work or you just do you rise to the top and not even realize that you're there or working with some of the greats how does that happen well one you know there's a couple of special you know uh, things to it we think in terms of kind of mind body and spirit in a lot of ways uh, when we think about uh, the mind space. We, we really have a unique offering that, uh, you know, we can actually create original intellectual property from ground up. We've got, you know, these world-class uh, writers and uh, what have you that can create entire IPs. Uh, but then in other cases, uh, when we talk about our hands, our, our body, the unique skill set that we bring to the table of three-dimensional storytelling of mm -hmm. spatial storytelling, architecture, master planning, attraction design, like Disney Imagineering, um, digital storytelling, uh, media, web, uh, virtual reality, augmented reality, or uh, strategic storytelling, branding identity. Uh, there's just no one else that we're aware of that has that unique mix of, of hands, if you will. No um, kind of left brain, right brain, from the ether to the environment, from blue sky to building. Um, and then I think the heart is something that, you know, we're, we're really, um, we've, we've been fortunate enough to be able to get to pick our projects. Uh, and, and actually, ch we choose projects that we think uh, are going to lift the spirit and destinations that uh, lift the spirit and projects with a purpose. And, and so, uh, yeah, it's been fun to get to be picky uh, and to be the bouncer at the door, the, the club of who gets to work with Storyland Studios. So That's it's awesome. uh, been a fun ride. What are some of the projects you're most proud of to date, Mel, those that you hold near and dear to your heart? You know, um, I used to really have a tough time answering that question because it was always like, well, which one of your, you know, favorite right. kids do you, you want to pick? pick? Right. Yeah, so pick we've worked on here. just amazing projects with amazing stories that we, we've grown to know and love. I grew up playing with Legos. We love a lot of our work with mm -hmm. uh, the Legoland parks, aquariums, hotels. Uh, we've loved working with uh, Lucasfilm and Disney now uh, with Star Wars, Marvel. Um, it, we're big fans of that. But really uh, had a unique opportunity a couple years back to... Uh, develop, design and develop a, a village for uh, survivors of child sex trafficking. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, this, this project in Southeast Asia is just so special. We, it's a, it's a long story. I could go on, but yeah. the stories of these gals and the, and the stories of transformation that have come out of this project and even the beauty of the project, taking advantage of this unique oceanfront setting and doing this project as open air beach villas that, you know, I would love to live in, you know, right. rather than a, Right. an institutional, you know, kind of setting. And we were able to design it in a way that, you know, the, the wall or the security perimeter is at the bottom of the hill, but we've got this 270 degree ocean view full of horizon and blue water and, and possibilities. And it's just a beautiful project to be part of. We do have a very specific process based in story. Uh, we, 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 we call it the story circle, and we, we look at the character, the settings, and the plot, mm. and where those kind of three story circles intersect, there's kind of a Venn diagram. So for example, your question of who are we designing for, mm. uh, it, it's, it's always both, right? Because um, there's someone foot in the bill, but then there's someone that is ultimately gonna be the, the end user, the mm -hmm. person experiencing it, mm -hmm. the, the person that you're thinking of um, having the potential for transformation. Mm -hmm. um, and so when we do that, we're, we're, we're certainly thinking about the needs of all the above, uh, all the different stakeholders. Um, but, uh, but certainly, I think uh, first and foremost would be the guest, the, mm -hmm. the visitor, the client, um, you know, okay. thinking through designing for all five senses. Uh, actually, I would say the sixth sense, all five senses plus, again, the heart, the emotion. Um, awesome. because it's, it's kind of easier actually to design for five senses, even though most designers, you know, usually stick to visual design mm -hmm. or uh, mm -hmm. something else. But, uh, yeah, it's just being thoughtful and mindful. I, I loved how you came in and, and you were talking about another project on your plate and such. Just talk about the life of a creator, or someone in, in your shoes. It is always different. You're always looking at, at different things in different ways. Talk about that. Right. Every one of these is like a journey up and down Everest and back. And I get the, the crazy role of sometimes getting to be the Sherpa that's, you know, been there up and down and still still standing, still alive. 
Um, but, uh, you know, and then the real joy also is um, the, the team. You know, again, I talked about this motley crew of left and right brain people, of dreamers and doers. We've got a team of um, many former Imagineers, Disney, Pixar, Universal alumni um, that uh, do lots of different things, uh, lots of different personalities. But, you know, uh, most, of, most of us are in Southern California, but we've got offices in London, in Hong Kong, in Orlando, uh, and uh, Atlanta. So it's just a fun, fun mix, this, uh, this kind of uh, cast of internal characters <laughs> with our Storyland Studios crew and the amazing clients and partners that we get to collaborate with in this amazing sandbox. Isn't it crazy how... Yes, it's a wide, expansive world, but it feels like now more than ever, we're all coming together no matter where we are, when, in particular when there's something that we need to get accomplished and we have an interest in it. Have you noticed that? Yeah. It's, it, well, it's that's, shrinking. that's, you know, the to anything can be a blessing and a curse, right? The good, bad, and ugly, but that's certainly true of, of technology where uh, it is such a, I, I'm just shocked at how many of my friends that are actually living 20 minutes from me <laughs> that, mm -hmm. that we haven't seen each other until we come to Nashville, you know, for different, oh, uh, you know, events or conferences or something. So it's just funny how, uh, you know, between just jet, you know, travel or telecommunication mm -hmm. or social media, we can stay so connected to so many people around the world. So.